morning, y'all beautiful peoples. What's good? Today is August 28th, I believe. But I know it's a Monday. So you know it's Monday, you know it's 8 a.m. So we got this 8 a.m. that I gotta go to. It is currently... It is currently 7.41. I know I can get there in a good amount of time. We got our 8 a.m. Then after that, we got this new thing, this little forecasting uh, opportunity. Gonna be going out to the station, to the station in our building, the Walker Building, later, and um, gonna have a little forecast opportunity. And of course we got chemistry, and then after that we got math in the afternoon, and then some club activities in the end. So let's see how today go. I think it's gonna be good. Making it per usual. You know the model. Let's step inside. Let's see what's gonna happen today. I'm gonna turn this half finished quiz because that was just not making sense to me. But okay, we'll see though. I get to take off the grade later in the year when I take it again, so that ain't a bad agreement to do. Let's go inside, though. Just like that, we are back out. That was too quick. Now we're going to the forecast thing. I had to eat my little breakfast. Some trail, some trail stuff. Man, we should get there probably like at 10 to. I ain't even stressing it though. Just sit. It's pretty chill. It's on my whatever. But yeah, give me something chill, so I'm messing with that. Let's just keep on the sliding. Yeah, I'm just wrapping up my temps and I'll be all good soon. Again, I'm just wrapping up my temps.
What's good, y'all? So basically, went to the forecasting class, and it's not what I would expect when you think of forecasting. Like when you think of forecasting, you think of like, you know, you on the news saying what's happening. I what I did was behind the scenes work. Like literally, I went in and I was the one putting in stuff that was like I was reading the data and all that to put in a website, which is pretty cool. But if you don't know what you're looking at. It's kind of hard to so that's why there's this meeting today that I'm definitely gonna attend but right now I gotta do this uh, chemistry work before 3 30 and that's due then we got my chemistry class at 3 30 then my math class at 4 40 and then I got a pack slate till like 8 o'clock tonight got this meeting for um, what I have I have this meeting for minorities in sports at 5.30, then an internship activity at 6 o'clock, and a forecasting session at 7 o'clock. So literally, I'm literally moving straight and west on campus from the Thomas Building, then to the Hub, then from the Hub to Williard, then from Williard to Walker. So literally, stopping at every four places just trying to get there and get as much information as i can which i highly suggest if you go to college if you're watching this you're not at college or you are at college get involved try to do as much stuff as you can get involved in everything and then when you realize some of the things that don't really fit your interests like that or aren't really that appealing then you could drop it and let it go because unless you're paying dues on it then that's another thing but I think that's definitely an important thing to do in college. One of the main reasons why I'm here as well, to do that. So, it's definitely a smart task and a thing to do though. But yeah, highly suggest. But yeah, let me get started on this chemistry work and then I'm gonna go from there. So yeah, and I gotta get some lunch. But I also got a package to open too. So I might open that today my opening tomorrow when I get some more free time on my schedule. I'm looking right now. I'm definitely going to have some tomorrow morning. So we'll see. But yeah, let me do this chemistry work so I don't get in trouble and get an F and fail. I don't need none of that. Yo, what's good, y'all? I know it's probably a massive jump from uh, my last recording spot. But it's Tuesday and it is. Um, 141 right now. Uh, yesterday was definitely a, a okay day for sure. Um, a lot of stuff happened, which is kind of why I didn't really record. Um, I believe the last thing that I recorded was um, was either me going to classes, my last classes at the end of the day, and uh, that was it. Didn't really record that much in my afternoon. But um, yesterday was just a lot of contemplating and thinking um, about my major and what I really want to do in life and stuff like that. Um, yeah, definitely about to get real here. Like, I've always wanted to do meteorology, and, you know, if it's what I want to do and the work that I got to put in for it, like, with all the math and the calculus, it's definitely something that... Um, it's a lot of work that I got to put towards. And there's also another, there's also a bunch of other things that I want to do as well. That are just, um, that are just bumps along the road too. But it's all about managing me, managing my time as well. But, um, yeah man, the work, the work, I just don't feel like it's not me. But I'm never the person to, um, like give up that easy. So, if anything, I wouldn't give up, which is my main thing, and try to exert all the options at best. I probably might have to get a tutor for math because I'm definitely not the best at it, as we've seen the amount of time and work that I put into it. So that's one of the things I'm definitely going to do and try to look at today, try to get a tutor for it. And then, um, yeah, just thinking about like what I want to do life goal-wise, because I've always had this like five year, 10 year plan, but now I'm at the point where I'm like executing it, or trying to execute it. 
and I'm looking at the things that I have to do to execute it and it's like I don't like what I'm doing at all I really don't I've looked at my academic plan for math or for meteorology and it's a math course every year and a physics course every year so I get to my third and fourth year where then I'm applying those same things into the concepts and it's like is this really what I want to do you know but um that's pretty much been a recap of what happened yesterday just didn't really take time to record it all it was getting through my emotions as well so I wanted to just address it all at once and kind of talk a lot more about me and my situation you know I try to be as real as possible on here because you know if I'm doing a vlog and talking about me and how my life is here at Penn State you also got to talk about the good and the bad things and the things that you go through as well and that's just being an adult too so um, it's definitely one of my other ways of coping and going through that but um yeah today's been a today's been a better day I've had my geography class I've had my uh, my seminar class for the earth and mineral sciences right now I'm just sitting down I'm about to do some math work because I have like five math assignments to do five math homework assignments to do later today and I'm gonna go uh, to my advisor to speak with her at like 2 30 so pretty soon but um yeah and then I have my math class at four o'clock so that's pretty much the rest of my day and I have this other meeting that I might I might attend I might not I might just text them and tell them that hey um, yeah I wasn't able to make it to the meeting because I have all this math work to do and that's definitely my number one priority right now getting all that finished but um yeah that's pretty much how my life has been for the past 12 hours so far so um yeah I guess that's it for now. I'm just gonna do some studying. And uh, yeah, so appreciate y'all for listening to me, honestly. It's, it's a good outlet, I think, just to get all those words expressed and get it out. You know? And I like being real and being honest. I wouldn't want to sugarcoat anything if it's not what I'm really going through or happening, so yeah. But um, Let's get this work done and uh, I'll see you later. What's good, y'all? Obviously, if you can see, this ain't been the best week to vlog. I've been busy a lot of times. Um, this Tuesday, or from the last time I recorded, uh, probably a lot of stuff happened. Um school a lot of school work a lot of work that i did online for my chemistry class math class i don't really want to bore y'all with all that i'm just trying to get to the weekend for real that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to get to the weekend so yo we just stugging it out right now but i have been stacking up some packages to make a little haul or whatever but yeah today's wednesday today is wednesday is like 1 one forty. we're gonna make this a little quick I got a PLA to do for chemistry, but you know, y'all come first or whatever. I don't care. But I really just want to open these packages right now. But um, yeah, I just had a meeting with women's basketball about like Photoshop, Premiere Pro, basically basic stuff that I already knew. And like they gave me a whole bunch of overlays and like edits and I was like, oh my God, just blessing me right now. Just came back from that though. And uh, now we got this haul. Let's look at it first up this jersey this fit is gonna go so hard I really just need some jorts or whatever and it's gonna be top tier but I really mess with this bro old school Penn State jersey hard next up can't show the Addy I know what this is um Follow me on Instagram, you already know. 
I went to Puerto Rico about like maybe three weeks ago now, beginning of August, and I had my Apple Watch and it broke. Water damage. And I'm praying that I brought my bracelet. I really am. If not, I'm gonna have to go to Target today and get a watch bracelet. But um, this is my Apple Watch that Thank you, thank you moms, for helping me get it fixed. She uh, went to the Apple store back home and helped me get it uh, fixed. And hopefully it works. And hopefully I have the thing for it. But yeah, do they, it's damn near a brand new Apple Watch and all kind of free, cause it was all under warranty. I don't know, it's not turning on, but uh, you get the, oh, it is turning on right now. You see it though. I'll let that turn on over here. Um, what else we got? Yeah, this bag. And I know what this is as well. These are uh, some fire shorts that I got from Dark Horse. Oh, I did get a new white! Thank the Lord. I was so smart. I saw the Dark Horse that came through Twitch, changing my location, because I had it at home's address. Hard. Heavyweight, too. Yeah, fire for that. Who finna wear these tight shorts, them? You should look mad small. I'm at the Def Jam one, but this with the, I think this would go together. Oh, it would hit. I think it would hit. We gotta see. I really mess with it though. That's hard. That's sort of dark horse. They cooked. Any stickers? No stickers. I'm fine. That wasn't in the contract. And I was not sponsored either. But Dark Horse, if you want to set some stuff up, we can do that. Lastly, we got this box from Amazon. I think it might be one of my textbooks. I'm not sure. But I'm um, about to see right now. Yeah, it's just a textbook. And it was used too. Damn! If you remember from the first vlog, this is like day one, I think. This thing, I ain't even gonna try to smell it. I know it'll probably stink. But we got the textbook now. When I say I just weigh like a good like two pounds, I'm not even joking. Look how thick this thing is. Jesus. But yeah, that's pretty much my haul for it right now. But uh, like I said earlier, I'm not trying to bore y'all with all this uh, all this work. So I'm gonna do this work in my free time or my peace time right now. Do that, probably eat some chips, slide out to chemistry and then uh, math right after that. So yeah, I'll probably talk to y'all tonight. If not, y'all probably gonna get a recap tomorrow like I did the other day. So, uh, my bad, or see you later. Whichever one it ends to be. What's good, y'all? Uh, just finished up that work. Now we about to slide over to, uh, to chemistry and then math right after, so. Should be interesting. I have a quiz for math Friday. And I have homework, written homework due tomorrow, so. We got an afternoon ahead of us, but yeah, let's get going. Yo, what's good, y'all? This is probably one of the most boring vlogs ever. Every time I come on here, all y'all do is see me talking. I ain't even going nowhere, really, to y'all. But to me, I'm about traveling the goddamn globe, all these steps. Uh, I probably got about like 10,000 steps on this damn watch today, maybe more, if not. Today is Thursday, it is around like 5.02 p.m. Uh, man. Today was a pretty good day. I finally got to go to one of my labs 
for geography. I don't really like that. It's pretty boring. But, I mean, we're looking at maps online, so it's kind of cool. We're making our own maps and everything like that. But um, went to my seminar class today. Went to my recitation for chemistry. It's pretty chill. Um, but, yeah, just been doing some math work, doing some chemistry homework. Got a math quiz tomorrow. We're going to see how that goes. Hopefully, I could do something, man. I'm not trying to fail that at all. But uh, the hair is getting crusty now, bro. I'm mad about that. But, um, yeah. I'm about to go head over to this uh, tutoring session in my building for meteorology. So I'm going to go over there, do that, and then um, come back here do some more work. I might bring y'all along, maybe. I don't, I don't think. I don't know. But definitely Saturday is going to be the move. I got tickets for the football game. So we're going to have a little football game vlog. That should be very fun. I'm just waiting. I'm ready for Saturday, bro. Friday needs to come faster so Saturday could be here. I'm ready for that like, game day. I'm ready for tailgate. It's going to be fun. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it right now. So I guess I'm going to just see y'all. Maybe tomorrow, probably again, you know. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we about to do a little Penn State football game voiceover, you know. Um, a lot of these clips I just had from the game that I recorded myself. So y'all just going to be hearing me talk on majority of it. And uh, if I sound a little stupid, it's because it's my first game ever. So don't get on me. Uh, I don't know the chance. I'm from Miami. I know Miami chance. I don't know Penn State chance. But I'm trying to learn it. So, you know, we get into that process. But, yeah, this is just me recording the the game day, in a sense, from my perspective as a fan. And I uh, hope you all enjoy it and witness how cool Penn State is as a football school. All right, boom. So this is the walkout that they have. I mean, this is usually for, like, every single football team does this. But, um... This being the first game is mad deep. And when I tell you the tailgates were endless, bro, the tailgates did not end. But yeah, I'm zooming in. I'm trying to find a, a boy King. He probably definitely in this clip somewhere, I ain't gonna lie, because it's, it's mad people. And I'm looking, I'm like, bro, since when was the football team like 300 people deep? Because all these people are players. And I'm like, yo. This is a lot of people, bro. Not even a lot of you. The dude's next to me standing here was kind of, he was so drunk, bro. He was sitting here saying, what was he saying? He was like, bro, bro, bro. He was saying something, I don't know. But yeah, this is just a walkout. Pretty chill, pretty cool. But the views, oh my gosh. The seat is crazy, but like over there, that's where the student section is. Just another clip for the fam. Look at it, beautiful, nice. Yeah. Walk out, you see number nine. Bro. Again, that was, this moment is so cool, bro. I, I want to feel that type of moment, bro. Like walking out your first game. Mad people there. That's just a vibe. Yeah. And then this is the door uh, that the Ninny Lion does for each side. So everybody's just screaming. Uh, don't mind my camera work. I'm better with the actual camera rather than the phone. But yeah, this is pretty loud. Yeah, had to let y'all hear that one. But this is the walkout. Not too much on me. I sound like a little groupie because I don't know what the hell everybody else is saying. But, um, you know, just trying to catch up on that. But, bro, if you look, look how packed it is. Like, this is mad deep. But, yeah, not too much on me for this chain right here. And the band is nice, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. This band is beating Miami's band 
every single day. Yeah, not too much on me. Yeah, the band is tough, bro. The band is tough as hell. But we better get to the walkout part. Listen to how loud this gets, y'all. It ain't that loud on video, but in person. Not too much on me, not too much on me. Beautiful, beautiful opening sequence. This is so beautiful. And I had to boo Westwood on the too. But yeah, take the dub ski, little fireworks action. But yeah, the night was nice. Spank them boys like little babies. But yeah, I love the game. It was amazing. Uh, definitely waiting for that Iowa Whiteout game. It's gonna be crazy, bro.
Good morning, beautiful people. We're back up and outside today. We're to Crody. It's Tuesday. We got a 1035 class, my geography class. So that's what we about to slide to. But um, nice, beautiful, warm, 80 degree weather. We love it over here. We love that. But yeah, we about to head over to that class. And right after that, I got my uh, my other one, my other one on uh, my seminar, and then from there, we gotta go and get some lunch after that, and I get math. But you know, I'm a scholar now, so I did my math work beforehand yesterday. So I got a PLA that I'm gonna do, and my meteorology work that's due tomorrow. So we're working ahead this time. So we about to just slide out there. And let's get cracking. Bruh, I know I be asking for heat, but this shit too hot, bruh. Oh my god. It's like, it's like 85 degrees right now, and I know I'm crazy for saying that's too hot. But bruh, it's hot. It's hot as hell right now. We just outside living up. Gotta get some food. What's good, buddy? Chilling. Just outside right now. About to. I ordered my food online. Just waiting for it to be picked up. It's 1:30 right now. Uh, I was trying to sit outside and get all this heat that I can, but I might be getting somewhere where it's at least some shade too, cause it's mad hot for no reason. But um, yeah. You vibe enough. Those past two classes were none. They were light. We pretty much learned stuff, which I'd rather us sit there and learn than us go in and uh, be doing all these calculations and stuff. No distant math, but you get what I'm saying. But uh, yeah. Um, about to go get my burger. It was like a spicy chicken sandwich. I know that might slap. I ain't gonna lie. It's a noodle, so I'm, I gotta try it. There you go, the breeze. About time. But, um, yeah. Go get that, some fries. Then do some, uh, do my PLA maybe. Do some women's basketball work. And also my meteorology homework. I gotta finish that today. So I'm probably gonna start on that first. But that's pretty much how the day is looking. Two, some light. Good light day. It's good that we're getting on pace and on track. So I'd rather take that than anything. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Been having a chill day, a little swell day. Nothing too excited happening these first two classes. Hopefully something happens today so I can tell you guys another story time about. But uh, yeah. The wildlife here, not even the wildlife. Here lifestyle here bro it's a lot of different things from the trees and the grass like some of the grass here is like so soft it's crazy but it's not really real grass like they get the fertilizer thing and put it on there and that's how they create it but um but yeah I'm gonna show y'all this burger this sandwich when I get it and then rate it this is one thing I want to do. I want to rate like all the foods here, cause there's so much. There's not so much varieties, but there's also like you got a buffet at Finley where I stay at, and you got a buffet at Pollock. It's like rating those different things and how good they are, even though it's the same food. Just putting out a ranking scale for whoever, whoever may, maybe wanted to know that. But um, uh, uh, but yeah, man, that's pretty much it just gonna uh, try to incorporate some more speech in this video because you don't want to be just cinematic shots who the hell is gonna watch some silent film like this is back in the 50s or whatever where they had no audio but yeah it's busy hour right now so I put in my order for like maybe 140 because I knew I'd probably get back to my crib around like 130 or whatever 140 ish but they delayed it another 20 minutes so I gotta pick that up at like 2 o'clock which is wild but this is like the it's like the busy period 
in a sense. Everybody's moving around. It's like you walk on the sidewalk, it's about 300 people on that same sidewalk with you. It's crazy. I literally just seen, I literally just seen the damn, uh, what's it called, head coach for football just driving two girls in a golf cart around. Like, what the hell? It's just, it's madness out here. Madness and badness combination, you know. But, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's fast forward a little bit. Maybe I'm doing a little too much time. I do look good, though, even though I, I might be a little dark because the sunlight is facing right on my head. I'm trying to, like, adjust the lighting, but I think I'm a 10, always. Y'all, today is the first day in 13 years of my life that I missed a class. Damn, boy. That's crazy. If you don't know, I've never missed a day of school. Like, from elementary school to middle school to high school. So, that's wild as hell. But, I mean, what can you do about it? I was up doing basketball work till, like, 3 in the morning. And you can't soak on it, bruh. Cause it's past 8 50 it is 10 o'clock right now i had to go deliver this paper or this homework to the teacher all the way on the other side of campus for that class which i could have turned in in the morning but i just didn't wake up my body was slumped but uh yeah did that now i have a whole slew of things that i got to do while i was walking there i basically learned what we were doing in class so that's a good way to just catch up on myself but it's our to-do list got to start on the math homework got to do my map lab and start on the chemistry homework which is practically later today and do my pla so the two things that i'm mainly going to do is i'm going to do this pla no i'm going to work on my math work first i work on my math work and then I do my PLA, just sort of chronologically in a sense, not really because I have math after chemistry, but basically do it in a sense because I like to know exactly what I'm doing. So by the time I finish my PLA, I'm walking into class with the knowledge of, all right, yeah, this what I just did 30 minutes ago before I walked over here is what I'm doing. Yo, this pimple is bothering me, yo. I ain't gonna lie, pimple's bothering me, it's crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much what I gotta do and accomplish for today. And then if I get time, I'll do my map lab as well. But uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much the to-do list. So I'll probably be doing that till two, uh, till like three o'clock. So try to get this done as fast as I can. Probably gonna eat some cereal. Uh, SL to my mom for this cereal, I ain't gonna lie. This one snaps way too hard. No no free promo. But Cascadian Farm, if you'd love to sponsor this, you know who to send your boxes to. Just know I'm a fan. I love it. But yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. And um, I'm also going to, well, you'll see if you watched the other video, week two. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the move today. Some chill, some slight. But yeah, let's get to work. We got a lot to do. Damn. Yo. What's good, y'all? About to head out for my last two classes of the day. Then we got some club meetings, so you know how that go. Probably ain't gonna speak till like later. But um make sure y'all enjoy y'all day too. I'm gonna try to do this right now. Enjoy mine. Yo, what's good, y'all? Um, I already know that whole second week, third week, bruh, it was chopped. Like, recording wise, oh my goodness, I couldn't get nothing done. But that was mainly due to work and everything like that. From actual schoolwork, I had an exam uh, Friday, what, the 9th? Um, a whole lot of work. But, um, yeah, that's mainly what caused that whole delay in um, 
recording week two, and as well as uploading week two, and then recording week three. But I want to introduce a new segment where it's like a little storytelling type thing. My top two funniest stories of the week. We'll start off with week two. So, got these boys, me, me, my roommate Jacob, and two other guys on the floor using Dimitri. You already done seen Dimitri before if you watch week one. And their friend Ty, and then Ty's friend Luca, and then using Dimitri's friend Jeremy too. So we all pop out. We go downstairs. We go downtown to the den. It was like a Saturday night, I think. Yeah, Saturday night after we beat West Virginia. We go down there, and then um, we're just chilling because you gotta you gotta be like you gotta have a, either a real ID that you say you're 21 or a fake one, which majority of people do. But I don't do that because why would I get myself in trouble for? I'm cool. But um yeah, so we go down there and then uh Jacob ends up going back to the room, Ty and Luca go back to the room. So it just ends up being us four, me, Easy, Dimitri, and Jeremy. So we're going down there and we just chilling. We came back from getting this food. And um we're coming back to the den and we hear somebody cursing and yelling at each other. And the girl's like, Oh, he just said the N word. We're like, what? Mind you, both of these two guys that are beefing with each other don't look like me. So, we're like, what? So then the guy, both guys are drunk. But the guy outside of the den was, like, gone. The guy inside the den, like, they have the little cage area where it's, like, outdoor seating. He was standing out there, and he was yelling back at the dude. The dude outside was like, come fight me, come fight me then. Come outside. So the dude come outside, Right? So then everybody outside of the den started walking over like, oh, they started going to an alleyway. Bro, the dude that was like absolutely drunk, the guy outside, he was about my stature. I'm like 5'11", 130. He about the same height, weight as me. The dude in the den, 6'4", 220, and he had four other guys that was his size and weight. That dude was about to get messed up. So Easy goes and Easy, if you see Easy, I'm gonna drop a picture of Easy like right here. Easy is like my height and way swoller, bro. Easy about like cool 170, 180. But he got muscles. So Easy go to break it up. He like, bro, y'all don't gotta fight. What you gotta fight for, bro? You don't gotta fight none. And it's like, bro, this is real street stuff, man. This is real street stuff. You don't need to be fighting. Because next thing you know, you hit him, and then he busts his head open, and then he dead, and you never know what's going to happen. So the dude, the tall dude, started trying to get into Easy because he's trying to fight him. He's like, there's no need to fight. They end up going back and forth. They end up de-escalating the situation, and then uh, they walk away. So we go sit on this bench outside of the den across from it, and then we see the little dude that was, like, messed up. It was him and his girl. They were there. And then he's he's like, bro, did you guys see where they went? Did you see where they went? We're like, nah, he's down there. He's like, he's like, I'm trying to fight him. He's like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get knocked out, bro. Easy was like, I just fought for you to not get knocked out. You trying to go get knocked out? Go over there then. And he's like, bro, bro, just listen. He's like, one, I just gotta get punched in the face, dude. I just gotta get punched in the face. I'm like, bro, this man is tweaking. Who is asking to get punched in the face? And then two, he's like, bro, I just need to. I deserve it. Like, I, I just I just need to get knocked some sense in reality. The girl had her cousins with her, and they were telling him, like, bro, just let's go. Let's just back out of it. He kept on fighting to go, da 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 And then they just ended up walking away. And I was like, oh, my God, stupid. The next morning, though, Sunday, me and Jacob came back from breakfast. And then... I see the dude walking into the elevator with us. I'm like, yo, how you feel after yesterday? He was like, bro, I feel a lot better. And then we're walking out of the elevator. He's like, actually, I don't even know what happened, bro. I'm like, you don't know what happened? He's like, yeah, bro, I don't I have no memory. That man blacked out.
bro, I told him everything. I showed him easy, and he was like, he was like, bro, he dapped up easy. He was like, bro, like, you saved my life, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, you saved my life. He was like, yeah, I know I saved your life. And you was talking about you wanted to get punched. He's like, nah, bro, you saved my life for real. And then it was just funny, chill, and then he ended up going back to his floor. He lived in the same hall as us, too. It's so crazy. Or the same building. But, like, bro, that was wild that I seen him the next day, and he didn't remember nothing at all. That man was blacked out. My second story that I got to tell is me missing my class, bro. So I missed my class, right? It's at 8 a.m., but then there's a lab right behind it. So I go, I wake up, and I check the time, it's 8.52. The lab ends at, the class ends at 8.52, the lab starts at 9.05. I had my teeth brushed from last night, man. I just got up, I got up, I put on my, what? I put on some shorts, put on the shirt, put on my, uh, put on my flex shoes right here. I went, I grabbed my, I grabbed my uh, wallet, my chapstick, my AirPods. I go, I grab my iPad. I'm looking for the iPad case. I can't find it, man. I'm like, F it. Let me just grab that iPad. I get the iPad. I'm about to walk out the door. I'm like, damn, my phone. I go get my phone. I get downstairs. I'm like, should I take the elevator? No, it's going to take too long. I run down the stairs. I'm on the fifth floor. I got to go down five flights of stairs. I go down. By the time I get to the bottom, it's like 8.56. I'm like, bro, it's a 20-minute walk from my hall all the way to the uh, to the class. 20 minutes. I'm like, bro, I have to run there if I'm trying to get there on time. So I ran. When I tell y'all that's a mile apart from here to there, I got there in eight minutes, bro. Around eight minutes. That was the fastest I ever ran in my life, bro. That's probably like my PR mile, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. That, that was just a highlight of my day. Cause I went to that lab, I was sweating bullets. I was sweating. I was like, I was like, did you take attendance? He was like, yeah, the paper I gave you is attendance. I was like, say that. Got my attendance, bro. Man, I came back. I'm on the phone. My mom, I'm like, mom, I just ran an eight minute mile. You know what I'm saying? I was hyped up. Cause like, who was really running an eight minute mile with no stretch, no warm up, none of that? Like, you not. I'm not taking a little jog. I'm not doing no uh, four, three, two, one around the lap. None of that. I'm running straight mile off wake up, bro. Who's doing that? Not you. But that was the highlight of my day for sure. And the highlight of my week, I said. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much my stories that I had to tell y'all. But if you definitely enjoyed this choppy, sorry week, I definitely am promising week three or week four. I think we on four. Yeah, week four to be a lot better. Um, yeah, man. Stay tuned. Uh, it's more than likely going to drop this next week, Sunday. So stay tuned for that. But I appreciate you guys for even watching this. If you got to this point, please comment that you got to this point. So I know how long you're watching these videos for. Because um, if not, it's a prob it's a time problem. So we're going to cut this time down. But uh, yeah, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. As always, peace out. Love y'all.